and today in our kids group video we're going to be looking at the story of Jesus going into Jerusalem on a donkey on Palm Sunday. Matt will talk about that a little bit more later but first we're going to pray. Okay. Lord I thank you for everybody who's tuning into this group today. I thank you for everyone who's at home at this strange time. Um, I pray that you'll help us to really get involved into this story of Palm Sunday and when you came into Jerusalem on that donkey and I just pray that everyone would be engaged and learn something new and have loads of fun during this video. Amen. And now we're going to go to Matt who's going to do our reading and teaching for this session. Hi everyone. Uh, today's reading is going to be taken from the book of Matthew. Uh, we're starting in chapter 21 with verse 1 through to 11 and it goes something like this. As Jesus and his disciples approached Jerusalem, they came to Bethphage at the Mountain of Olives. There, Jesus sent two of the disciples on ahead with these instructions. Go to the village there ahead of you, and at once you will find a donkey tied up with her colt beside her. Untie them and bring them to me. And if anyone says anything, tell him, the master needs them, and then he will let them go at once. This happened in order to make what the prophet had said come true. For the prophet said, Tell the city of Zion, Look, your king is coming to you. He is humble and rides on a donkey, and on a colt, which is the foal of a donkey. So the disciples went and did what Jesus had told them to do. They brought the donkey and the colt, and they threw their cloaks over them, and Jesus got on. A large crowd of people spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the ground. The crowds walked in front of Jesus, and those walking behind, they began to shout, Praise to David's son! God bless him who comes in the name of our Lord! Praise God! And when Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was thrown into uproar. Who is he? the people asked. This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee, the crowd answered. So why is this story so special? Why do we have a day called Palm Sunday dedicated to this story? It's just a short 11 verses. What's so special about it? Well, as you might have heard, the people were shouting Hosanna. Now Hosanna is a very special word and it means save us, save us. So the people were shouting out to Jesus, they're saying save us and they needed to be saved. They were living in a time when the Romans ruled everything that they were doing. They, they, they were really struggling. Um, they had these people, these Romans, who were marching soldiers in the street and they were taxing them. They were taking all of their money and they needed a way out. They needed a saviour and they thought in their faith that they had been promised somebody who would be their saviour, who would be their king. And this was going to be their Hosanna, their saviour. So when they saw Jesus, they thought... Jesus must be this person that's been talked about. He must be Hosanna. So they were crying out to him. They're saying, save us. The other thing that we know about Jesus is that he didn't come to conquer. At that time, if a king rode into a town, he would normally ride in on a horse with all of his armour on, uh, with a mighty saddle, and he would be dressed for war because that's how kings used to take over places, by war. But Jesus was different. Jesus, as it said in the in the prophecy and as it said and as we see now Jesus was there to humble himself he came with peace not to, not to cause war but to be peaceful so he came on a donkey with cloaks over it and he came in humility so this meant that Jesus was coming in and he was showing people that he was going to win this war by winning their hearts he was going to win by love and not by fighting and so the people saw someone like Jesus and they thought, this guy is amazing. So they gave him a kingly welcome. They threw their cloaks down for him to walk on and they cut palm trees down so that they could put the palms down on the ground. So this is where the idea of Palm Sunday comes from. Because putting those palms down on the ground for him to walk on or for the donkey to walk on was meant to be shown as true respect only meant for a king. So this was them trying to show that Jesus was their king. He was their person to rule over. Now this is only a few short days before Jesus was betrayed by his friends, before the Romans took him and all hope seemed lost. 
But then we know that Jesus rose again. We know that Jesus came to win for our hearts. He came with peace and he came with joy to protect us. So in this time when we're really struggling and we can feel a little bit oppressed as well, it might be that your parents are really worried. You might be really worried. You might have heard something about this thing called coronavirus and might be stuck inside all day. Now, when we're struggling with stuff, just in the same way as those people were at the time of Jesus, we can turn to Jesus and we can say, Jesus, I know that you are more powerful, that you are more kingly, that you bring true happiness. And I want to follow you. I want to lay myself down in front of you so that you can so that you can win over my heart. So that's what we can do now is we can turn to Jesus and we can say, Jesus, just like you did 2000 years ago, we want to we want to follow you cheering. Hosanna, save us. Jesus, you're the one we turn to when we're struggling with. So I really encourage you guys. This story is just a short story, but it's really, really important because it's welcoming Jesus as our king, as our saviour, as Hosanna, the greatest, the highest. So last thing I'm going to do with you guys today before we go over and we're going to have some music and we're going to have some uh, some craft and we're going to make palm crosses today is I just want to pray for us guys. So if you want to put your hands together and close your eyes to help you concentrate and when you're finished we're going to say the word Amen which means I agree. So if you agree with my prayer say Amen. So Lord I thank you so much that you came as a king but also as a humble man. I thank you so much that even though you are so powerful and amazing and you could have just flown in there with all of your glory, that you came on the back of a donkey to show that you were there to be peaceful, but you were there to love us and you were there to save us. Lord, we cry out to you, Hosanna, saying, save us at this time. And we put all of our faith in you to be that person who's going to save us when we're struggling with stuff. Lord, I thank you so much. So now we're going to go over to Jill and she's going to be singing a song for us. And then afterwards, we're going to go over to our friend Izzy, who's going to be doing some craft with us and showing us how to make palm crosses. Thanks so much for tuning in this week, guys. If you've got any uh, questions, comments and stuff, please comment down below. Um, also, have a look on our Facebook page, uh, www.facebook.com forward slash ASM children. That's ASM children. Uh, and you'll find loads more activities and things that you can do. During Holy Week, we're going to be posting some stuff every day as activities you can do over the Easter holidays. So go and have a look. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you later. Take it away, Jill. <laughs>
everyone, today we're going to be making palm crosses to celebrate Palm Sunday, which is coming up this Sunday. Here are a few crosses I made earlier, and I'm going to teach you how to make these crosses. So what you first want to do is you want to take a strip of paper about the length of an A4 sheet of paper, so that's about 29 centimetres, and you want to make sure that the width of the paper is one centimetre. And it's really important you keep it one centimetre throughout because if it's thick it's going to make it slightly harder um, to fold it later on. So now we've got our paper like this, we're going to try and find about just above halfway to make our first fold. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make a 90 degree fold, like so, creating a little triangle. Um, and then we're going to fold the uh, length way so upwards. And then we're going to turn it over and do that again. This is creating a little square for which we can put arms and length of the cross through later. We're then going to take the arm and fold it over. And then we're going to thread it through this little hole in the pocket. Like so. And we're going to do that all the way. And that creates a neat little square which helps us tuck everything in. So then we're going to create the arms of the cross. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold it like this and thread it again through the pocket. And you can do that to the length which you would like. Um, it's easy to adjust, you just pull it through and then fold over. So I'm going to pull this through a little bit more. like so and there you have the arms of the cross now we're going to create the head of the cross so we're going to thread the longer bit through the pocket again this is where it's really important for the uh, strip of paper to be exactly one centimeter to make it easier to thread through so here I haven't made it so I'm just going to cut it a little bit more um, just to make it a little bit easier to thread through like so now hopefully that will slip through okay now that's much better um, and then adjust that to length you want. I'm going to go about this long. And then you can turn it over and create the bottom of the cross by threading it back through the pocket. And then this should come between the little loop we've created up there. So if you push that up and then you can pull down, fold that flat and you've created a little cross for Palm Sunday. Enjoy.